In this video, I'm going to teach you a very unique use of the offset function. Here over in Datasheet, we have some cities here in column C, and there's only six of them, but imagine there's thousands of them. And then across the top, we have column headers indicating some kind of numbers, could be sales, marketing, who knows. But this goes across the top for a while. And what we want to do is come over here, select a city, let's select Moscow, and we'll select data type 4. We want to find that value based off of the two things we select here. So looking for one thing vertically and another thing across the top. Now, if you've ever used Excel's offset function, you know that this is a nice way to do it. You just basically put in your reference or starting point, which is this cell here, C13. The rows function requires a number indicating how far down. We're using the match function. I press F9, we have a 1. And then, of course, the columns does the same thing. How far across the, the column here, row 13, are these columns to the right? If I press this match function here, I'm going to get the number 4. So basically, start here, go down 1, and go across 1, 2, 3, 4. There's our answer. So here we have two more cities. And we pick, uh, let's pick Barcelona, and we'll pick data 1. And for city 3, we will pick Dublin, and we'll pick data 2. So we could simply drag this over to the right, and that works perfectly fine. Then we could take a formula here and say sum those values, or maybe we want to average them, whatever, right? But the thing is, what if you had many of these going across the top and you just didn't have enough room to put in all these individual little formulas and you wanted to do it all in one step? So it is possible. Here's the long formula I created. Um, it's possible to do this, but it looks a little intimidating. So in this video, I'll break down all the steps and show you exactly what this thing is doing. So step one is the starting point. So here we have, once again, cell C13, which is down here, we're going to make this our starting point or our reference point. Now, step two, this is where it starts to get a little bit different because we're not just using the match function here to find one thing. We're, we're using the match function to find all of these cities all at the same time, believe it or not. So we're looking for all three of these, cell L11 to cell N11. So that range we have right in there, that is the key part. Because this is the same when you use the, the match function in a normal way. You need a lookup range. This one is vertical, C14 to C19. But this here, this is the part that's different. Looking for all three of these values vertically going down here. So if I draw this area, that's where we're looking for those cities. So inside of this, if I just turn this off for a minute, what I can do is show you the match function in here. I'm going to click on this. When I press the F9 key, you see the answers, a 1, a 3, and a 5. So that corresponds to what we have here, Moscow, Barcelona, Dublin. It's the first city, the third city for Barcelona, the fifth city for Dublin. So we get all three of those numbers inside of the formula. So in the same way now, we want to look across the top, and we want to find data 4, data 1, and data 2. So here we are again up at the top. And we're matching not one thing, but we're matching three things at the same time. All three of these, data 4, data 1, data 2, horizontally going from left to right, just like that. So I'll just make this the same. This is what we're looking for, all three of those. I'll turn this off. And I'll go inside the formula one more time. For the columns part, this time we're not just finding one of them, we're finding all three of these at the same time here for, uh, between D13 and G13. So I'll press, I have this part highlighted, I'm going to press the F9 key, and it shows us a 4, a 1, and a 2. So let's look inside of our formula here, and I'm going to just highlight all of this, and I'm going to press the F9 key. And we see the three answers that we want, the 1,078, the 3,000, 5,008, all three numbers. Now, to make a long story short, 
we can't simply just take those answers that the offset, the three different answers the offset's giving us, and sum them up. We actually have to use the transpose function to just put things in the correct order. So now when I highlight all of this, we still see our three numbers, but these numbers now can feed into the sum function that we have here. So here at the top, I didn't put the last two steps. But here in this cell, in H11, we have the transpose and the sum, simply to add up those numbers. Now, we also could do this. What if we don't want to add them up? We want to average them. So I'll go like this, and we can take this sum away and type in average. Control Shift Enter, because this is an array formula, and it's going to average those numbers instead of summing them. So there are the five steps, the last two steps, transpose and sum, just so that the array will work properly and either add them all up or we can average them.